And welcome to the Stan Watson Show. I'm your host, Stan Watson. Thank you again for tuning in to the Stan Watson Show. We're glad that you're here with us tonight. Joined again by my lovely co-host, Samantha Caldwell. How are you doing tonight? I am well. Thank you for asking. Good, good. It's been a great day already. It has been. It well, has been. we have a great show for our list, uh, viewing audience tonight and hope that it will continue to tune in. We'll take a quick break and Samantha and I will be right back with our first guest. We're going to talk to the Goshen Management people and they have some great things to share with us and we'll be right back. Stay right there. the stronger than we look type, the braver than you think type, the type that's sure the time will come when we put type one behind us. We're the progress is inevitable type, the rise to every challenge type, the type that knows bit by bit the future is certain to get better. We're the plan for a cure type. The improve life along the way type. The type that will stop at nothing. Absolutely nothing. Until type one becomes type none. And we're back, and thank you again for tuning in to the Stan Watson Show. Samantha and I are ready to go to work tonight. Hope that you've had a great day, and we hope that you continue to watch the show. If you want to uh, get information about the show, call us at 404-371-3681. Were you ready to go to work? I am ready. Well, good. We have a guest tonight. We have Tori and Chantel Jackson. They are the founders of Call Goshen Management. That's that correct? Goshen Management. Goshen Management, like Goshen yeah. in the Bible, huh? Yes. Uh huh, you think I knew that, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh huh, Joseph and this folk were down in Goshen for a little while. Exactly. Hello. Uh huh. Well, I'm a preacher's kid, so I mean, I got to know that. I've been, to, I've been to Sunday school a couple of times. Well, welcome to the Stan Watson Show. Thank you. Thank Sam you for Samantha and I are really glad that you came by. Tell us about Goshen Management. Okay. Well, just to start off, we'll start where you left off. Okay. With that, uh, Goshen Management. It actually um, came from the idea of being in the Bible. Mm hmm. We, um, we chose that um, actual name because of the simple fact that we want to be a light to um, most people. So a lot of times it's a conversation piece because most people want to know where, where did the name come yeah. from. And so it gives us an opportunity to minister. Mm -hmm. sure, you know, sure. so, right. And then you, you, once you pick that interest, then, mm -hmm. then <laughs> right. we can go on to what else we do. Right. So sometimes we just really use it as a conversational piece to actually mm -hmm. just preach the gospel. Awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. And, and I assume that your company is probably based on biblical principles. Yes. yes. yes mm -hmm. So how does Moses figure in this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tell us about the pr yeah. basic principles. Well, um, what we say is we believe in ensuring your um, everyday affairs with kingdom results because one thing about Goshen was um, in that land it was plenty. It was a famine that was mm -hmm, going on mm -hmm. at that time. So we believe that we are so covered by God as our resource that no matter what's going on with the economy, we believe that when you're with us, that we're going to be so planning, we're going to work together that we won't be affected by that. Wow, mm. that's a pretty powerful statement. Yes. Wow. Now tell us how long have you been in business now? We've been in business since 2012. Okay. So mm -hmm. Roughly okay. three years, right? About now. three years. Yes. Okay. And who is your typical client? I mean, or do you have a typical market that you market to? That, that base, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's funny. It's um, it's Christian base, of course, mm -hmm. simply because we want our principles to line up with mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. person, that, um, the other people. But um, I, one of our first guests was actually a celebrity fat. One of our first clients, I'm sorry, was actually a celebrity fashion designer. Mm -hmm. Wow. Which um, that's who we're working with right now. We're working with all our artists, but right now we're actually promoting his tour. Oh, mm -hmm. so it sounds like you're doing artist management, in, but through a ministry, yes. so to speak. Yes, that's okay. exactly what we're doing. And um, among other things, we're like a one-stop shop. What else you do? Tell us. I mean, <laughs> yeah, do like share. Yeah, yeah, do, do share. Tell us. Uh, we provide driving services. We like to. You got an Uber license too? Uber. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Okay. Right. <laughs> when you know, you're driving, that's you said driving. Yeah, but but we were actually doing it before Uber. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you, Uber. you're okay. actually yeah. picking up yeah. your yeah, prospective clients. Uh, uh, we'll take them anywhere you need to go out of oh, out of state good. and stuff like that. Okay. We also provide lab coaching because we all certified lab coaches also. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we provide security while we while they're there. Oh, so, of course. I mean, this is a one-stop shop. Yeah. So for two years, is it 2012? Three years now, yes. 2012. Yeah, come on, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, all right, 2015. So what, what 
I guess, brought you to the brink of saying, this is something that I want to do? What happened? Did you see somebody that was singing at church or something? You said, I can manage that person. Or, well, or I want to do something. How did it happen? One of you tell me. I mean, okay. She, she's a singer naturally. Okay, 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 all right. I, I draw. I'm a, I'm a cartoonist. Okay. So, so you create. We always wanted, yeah, we, we created. And so we work well together. Uh, mm -hmm. I, we bounce off one another so we can balance each other out. And we just saw something that we both wanted to just partake in. Mm -hmm. We figured, hey, we can take that craft mm -hmm. and make it better than what it really is. Yeah. And mm -hmm. just offer what, you know, a traditional management company does it. Wow. So we just decided. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And it's very powerful. And in, in fact, you know, that's something sometimes you have to find the niche. Mm -hmm. yeah. And oftentimes we have a lot of talented folks, mm -hmm. but they don't always have the business savvy to know right. how to get themselves out there. Right. It sounds like. You can sing very well, but that yeah. management is, yeah. is a little bit lacking, yeah. huh? And that was it for me because. I came, we come from um, New Orleans, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So okay. um, when we got here, you know, I came. I'm going to let you stay on the show for a little while longer. Go ahead. <laughs> you say you from New Orleans. I'm going to let you, you got about five more minutes. You got to go. So you, you blew it. I was getting all into the business. Now you from New Orleans. You got five, four minutes now. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. But well, um, when we came here, you know, I came with the mm -hmm. um, hope of actually getting into um, the music side. Yes. I got sure. an opportunity to go to Japan. Um, okay. I didn't go because mm -hmm. my husband couldn't go. I was very young. I was 19 at the time. Okay. And so since he couldn't go, I was just like, you're not separating us. Okay. So yeah. that was that. When that happened, I kind of was like, you know what? People out here, they sing a little different. You know, I'm New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more blues. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. just like... I don't know. So it's always been in me to like, even if I couldn't do it, you know how they say those who can't play coach? Mm -hmm. There you go. So it there wasn't you that go. I couldn't do it, but I just felt like I could give more to the side of those sure. people because I love research and I yes. love people. And honestly, my husband and I were servants. Mm -hmm. We're servants okay. first. So we love yeah. serving other people. So it's like, why not do something that we can serve others with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And in your passion, which is the creative arts. Yes. So yes. That, that's yes. really yes. a work. I mean, you, you got a great company there. Now, uh, how big is your clientele right now? Are you building, still building a business? Well, we're, we're still ahead. building right now. We have okay. like 10 people right now. About to, no, that's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> now, are you are you based here in metropolitan Atlanta, DeKalb, or Atlanta somewhere? Where? Well, we, we live in Billy Ricker right now. Okay. Uh huh. But we're based all over Georgia. Yeah. There's nowhere we won't go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, tell us a little bit about your artists, uh, your diversity. Is it uh, R and B? Is it ministers? Is it poets, singers? I mean, what, 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 what's going on? It's a drawing. Wow. Yeah, we have painters. We have painters. We have a fashion designer. You hit it right on the head, Sam. Well, yeah. Uh, we have. Catering, we have chefs. Yeah, we also do yeah. small business owners. Okay. Yes. So we're not just limited. We mm -hmm. we decided God isn't in a box. Mm -hmm. So that's we right. don't have to be in a box. Right. So if it's a, if it's a need, we and we can meet it. That's what that's what we'll do. So we vary from like he said, celebrity um, makeup artists. We have yes. a celebrity um, fashion designer. Mm. We actually have artists, international um, fashion designer. Um, we have a. Our, even our age range, we range from 50, our oldest artist is 55, mm. and then like our youngest artist is 23. Oh, okay. right. So all of them. Very um, yes, it is. Yes, yeah. not only are they diverse, but they're multi-talented. Awesome, and awesome. We actually, all of our artists actually do something else. So again, just like we don't want to be in a box, we don't like our artists to be in a box so that sometimes if this isn't working for you, then you have mm -hmm. another egg in a basket you can use. Sure. I got to ask you this question before I let you go then. Mm -hmm. So are you working toward your artists, the ones that are singing, to be a part of a label uh, or is your management company moving them to that direction? It's what they want, honestly, yeah. because some of them are actually um, just independent artists. Right. Like gotcha. we've had several artists that we work with and that we work along with have actually been on your show. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got to check and see who that was. Then. <laughs> right, yeah, so see what's going on. Yeah. Well, well, we're glad that you came by. Before you leave, you got to tell us how we can get in touch with you uh, because there might be some, uh, I won't say starving artists, but some people that may want to be able to, <laughs> okay. to contact you about your, your firm. And I think that if Goshen Management is a great uh, concept and great name, tell them how they can get in touch with you. Uh, you can contact us at Goshen2176 at gmail.com, and you can reach us at a phone number at 678-382-5849. Well, wonderful. Samantha and I are really, really glad that you guys came by. And maybe we can get you back to see what that I voice is like. Say, so, we, yeah, we might need to see what that voice is like, okay, for New Orleans. You know, I'm from Memphis, I understand. Well, it's for flavors. Yeah. We yeah. like the diversity. And yeah. I also want to say, too, just really just to kind of put that out there, mm -hmm. is that our artist's name is Sir Algernon, and he's mm -hmm. actually having a workshop tour that's starting October 2nd, this Friday in mm -hmm. Douglasville, and it's going to go on to October 38th back in Atlanta. Okay. But um, the, it's a registration fee. You register at 
Eventbrite um, okay. on the road with Sir Elgin. Or they, can they call you? Or yeah, they can call me. Give us the number one more time before I let you go. Time. 678 382-5849. All right. Well, our guests have been Tori and Chantel Jackson, founders, and they own the Goshen Management. Yeah. Uh, yes. Great, great name, and we hope that you guys do well, and we'll get you back to see what that voice is like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See your work. Well, All we right. hope that you enjoyed the first segment. Samantha and I will be right back. You're watching Stan Watson Show. approve the loan until your wife goes back to work. I'm sorry. Housing discrimination isn't always obvious or straightforward, but it is against the law. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, protects your rights to equal opportunity in housing. If you've experienced housing discrimination, HUD can help. They can pursue compensation for your injuries and protect your equal opportunity to housing free of discrimination. Hi, I'm Lourdes Stefan, host of Univision's Sal y Pimienta. Cancer doesn't just change the way you feel, it changes the way you look. From losing your hair, even your eyebrows, to changes in your skin and nails, cancer treatment can rob you of your confidence and self-esteem. But look good, feel better changes all that. More than 800,000 women have learned how to address the appearance side effects of cancer treatment through our workshops. Visit lookgoodfeelbetter.org to find a free workshop near you. Let Look Good Feel Better help you feel like you again. Greetings, boys and girls. Moms and dads, Captain Jackson with the Cab County Fire Rescue here, and I know you're all excited about the Halloween festivities, especially the candy, the costumes, and the fun. But there are some safety tips I'd like to give you to ensure that you all are prepared for this spooky night. Shall we? Before Halloween night, choose bright and reflective costumes for greater visibility or consider adding reflective tape to your costume or trick-or-treat bags. Make sure your shoes fit well and your costume is short enough to prevent tripping, entanglement, or contact with flame. Sometimes a mask can limit or block your eyesight. Consider non-toxic and hypoallergenic makeup or a decorative hat as a safe alternative. Provide flashlights with fresh batteries for all children and their escorts. This is also a great time to buy fresh batteries for your home smoke alarms. And finally, before the big night, teach your children their home phone number and how to call 911 if they have an emergency or become lost. Also, review with your children the principles of stop, drop, and roll should their clothes catch on fire. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Now that you're prepared for the big night, let's talk about what you'll do while trick or treating. <laughs> on Halloween night, be sure to trick or treat in well known neighborhoods at homes that have a porch light on. Be sure to travel in groups, walk slowly, and communicate where you're going. Remain on well lit streets and always use sidewalks. If no sidewalks are available, walk at the farthest edge of the roadway facing traffic. Always walk, never run across the street. Only cross the street as a group in established crosswalks. And don't assume the right of way. Motorists may have trouble seeing trick-or-treaters. Just because one car stops doesn't mean others will. Never accept unwrapped food items or open beverages. No treats should be eaten until they have been thoroughly checked by an adult at home. Notify law enforcement authorities immediately if you find any suspicious items or activity. Hey parents, after a night of fun and after all the sweet treats have been collected, now it's time to talk about some safety tips. Right guys? Yeah! <laughs> right. Wait until children are home to sort and check treats. Though tampering is rare, 
a responsible adult should closely examine all treats and throw away any spoiled, unwrapped, or suspicious items. Try to ration treats for your children for the days following Halloween. Although sharing is encouraged, make sure items that can cause choking, like hard candies can, are given to those of an appropriate age. For any parents out there that are uncomfortable trick-or-treating in any neighborhoods, check to see if your local community centers, shopping malls, or houses of worship have any planned festivities for that night. Well, there you have it, folks. These trick-or-treat safety tips were created to keep you and your family safe, and I hope it helps. Have a safe and happy... <laughs> safe and happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs>
Well, and that, and that's good. what I was going to ask you in terms of mm -hmm. sort of qualifying those participants mm -hmm. um, to make sure that, you know, you've got Angie's List, which tells mm -hmm. you that's what right. are good companies mm -hmm. versus not so good companies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how are you, I guess, filtering out those that are that's just a good question, saying, yes. hey, I, yeah, I'm black owned, pick me, but yeah, but your, your, Track your customer record. relations or Customer service is, is terrible. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. So how are you kind of weeding out those, those situations? What we tend to do is filter them they they what's the word they filter themselves out <laughs> okay. like cuz you're mm -hmm. not going to suggest a business to, to someone That's you know true. or someone right. you, you like mm -hmm. so referrals right right with the referral based businesses we okay. keep it simple I can't find the word. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you got referrals. It's almost like the Bell to Business Bureau to say if it's one star, two star, or the three star, or you had the number of complaints. Say if you you identify a black owned business mm -hmm. and they're a mechanic and, and you filter them as Samantha was saying for your tap app, how do you know that they're a good mechanic? Somebody will let you know. Oh, so it's word of mouth and this referral again. Right, right. Mm -hmm. We as black people have gotten the stigma of um, becoming our own worst enemy. When okay. something has gone bad mm -hmm. or gone awry, we will be the first ones to let mm -hmm. you know. We'll be the first ones to call the manager, the first one to say, you know what, don't do it ever, ever again. I'm and not going back there again. Yeah. Exactly. And like mm -hmm. I said, once they start to filter themselves out, you get the quality businesses. The cream always rises to the top. Mm -hmm. And the businesses that do put the coupons and the deals out there that people love, you'll see the numbers go up. Mm -hmm. okay. Just like that. Okay, now, sounds if good. If I'm a black owned business, what is my incentive then to uh, get with Tap, tap App? App. <laughs> <laughs> uh, According to research, uh, Retail Me Not did a study late last year. You did uh, the study yourself? Retail Me Not. Retail, it's a okay, all right. Company, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they did a study. People who are companies who promote um, deals and coupons boost customer loyalty by 65 to 85%. Customer loyalty. Right, so okay. people are mm -hmm. coming back to your business. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they know they can get their products mm -hmm. at a lesser price. Any marketing school, marketing one on one, can tell you, you know, you, you tweak that price just a hair. And you'll yeah, watch the sales so right, rise. Right, right, right. right. And uh, what some of our competitors do, uh, the bigger companies who do mm -hmm. it, they offer their products at such a low rate that it gets a number of unique visitors. So they come and they say, oh, wow, I can get a steak, a $60 steak for $30. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. But in reality, they can't afford that $60 steak, so they're not coming back to get that steak. Mm -hmm. So what we do, so I try to encourage the, the businesses who do want to put their apps, uh, their pro products on mm -hmm. the app mm -hmm. to make it a reasonable adjustment where the customer is going to feel repeat business exactly okay yeah. okay yeah. so okay. tell us some of the diversity you may have in these uh, companies I mean is it the uh, Maytag repair person is it lawn care is it a carpenter what kind of business do you have on tap out restaurants clubs mm -hmm. um, retail stores men's clothes women's clothes shoes handbags Repairmen, auto repair, mm -hmm. home service, lawn care, mm. painting, construction. Whole gambit of stuff, okay. Right, anything, uh -huh. anything, anything. Uh -huh. awesome. That sounds good. Now, what have you done? I know you said that there is a uh, survey that you, you had done. Uh, what have you done to, to prove to these people that Tap App works, they have repeat business, and we have great customer uh, satisfaction, I guess? Yeah. Men lie, women lie, numbers, <laughs> however, they do not. <laughs> okay. All right, this, well, this is a scientific poll, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. This right. is a scientific right. poll, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> great I'm scientific sorry. poll, so do we lie. But I mean, somebody say, okay, well, I, I'm gonna refer you to Tap App. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what do you have in, in your statistics, statistics in your company that says that this company is good? At, and how do you know that you're doing a great job? Um, by the number of deals we tend to, or the, the number of deals that are downloaded. But um, are these new deals or older deals or repeat people? I, it sounds like you're asking about per industry, like, yeah, will, uh, uh, okay, will the auto mechanic, yeah. you know, have repeat customers? Um, here in the city, we can get it to a point where the concentration in the area will really mm -hmm. let you know how that works. Right. So people in the immediate area, probably about a five to 10 mile radius uh, of your business, right. repeat customers Repeat and customer, promoted. right? Uh -huh. Right. Okay. okay. So are back. you getting no feedback, I guess, from those? Who you like to serve? Mm -hmm. Those who you serve and mm -hmm. then those, well, I guess you serve it on mm -hmm. both sides, mm -hmm. but <laughs> are you getting some good feedback? I mean, uh, in terms of numbers and that type of thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. With the recent influx of I don't want to say hate crimes or anything like that, but the, the mm -hmm. un, unarmed black people being killed and mm -hmm. things that you see in the media and the news, you know, we are becoming a more, more cohesive unit as a community. Mm -hmm. And um, 
when you tell people, you know, even you guys' reaction, when I say we're doing it for the black community, mm -hmm. your eyes light up. Right. Says, oh, this is great. This is mm -hmm. awesome. Right, 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 that the right, people right. have been uh -huh. wanting and needing, mm -hmm. and they just didn't know how to express it. And I feel like that's that gives me a okay. chance to do that. Yeah, I was just trying to see the measuring tools that you had or a yeah. dashboard because it's just like you know constant contact. You send out so many emails, people can unsubscribe, un un unsubscribe. unsubscribe excuse mm -hmm. me, and also they can always add their name to your email list. So I was mm -hmm. just trying to see what are you doing to see you know, Samantha say what your numbers are. Oh well, of course we have ways to contact us. We have a contact us. It's a it's a suggestion box. Mm -hmm. on, on okay, the there you go. Right, right, right. right, right. All right, all right. I'm trying right. to figure and it out. If, and if a customer or if a client who would be the business, mm. you know, gets a bad report from a customer, that's something that can definitely be addressed. And after, you know, I would like to warn the the clients that hey, you know, you're mm -hmm. getting some bad reviews. You might mm -hmm. want to tweak some things. Sure. However, I don't want to interfere in, in anyone's business. Mm -hmm. And I know what that sounds like, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to interfere in business. Right. business so I don't want to get sued for saying something crazy. Yeah. yeah. Right. right. But I like to lead them to your door and let you serve them to bring it back. It's yeah. up to you. It's, if okay. you're going to own a yeah, business, you have to. You've got to make it very good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now talk a little bit about your competitors. I mean, you tap out, I'm, I'm sure that you have it in the African American community. Mm -hmm. You came up with the idea, who are some of your competitors, the big boys that's, that's, that you're trying to reach? The Groupons, the Living Groupons. Socials. Yes, yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Etsy's, the mm -hmm. the uh, Shopify's, those. Shopify's, yeah. So much. <laughs> I got an email. I got that email the other day. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> see, see, so with their large scale, you know, they've got the machine behind them, mm -hmm. and it's it's easy to find their, uh, find those businesses because mm -hmm. they are more popular. So you know, it's effort penetrating that market, mm -hmm. and you know, you find your niche, you stick with it, and, and you. That's, that sounds good. Yeah. So how are you getting your message out to reach the masses that there's a thing called tap app? I mean, every, in every avenue possible. With the tech industry, it's all about reaching the people in the Midwest. The social media, the social email, media, okay. Uh, Word of mouth. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. Mm -hmm. um, Which one is yeah. that one now? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say kick or something. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> Picture, okay. okay. They're everywhere. There's also a website, tapdeals.net. Right. Um, there you go. Okay. Well, I got you, you can visit that website. You can also download it from that website. Um, I'm here now doing my right, okay, <laughs> due diligence you, right, you guys, right, 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 right. doing everything you can to get the word out. Awesome. Um, I, I, one question I wanted to ask, you, it is an app, but we've not talked about what is it an app too. Is it a mobile app? Yes, it's so a mobile it's app. app. So you wanted you to kind of explain this. Exactly. You download it on an iPhone or an Android. You download it on an okay. iPhone or an Android. Oh, really? Okay. Right, All right. In okay. the Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. So she looked at my phone and she, okay, <laughs> I, I, it's okay. He probably right. <laughs> right. So let me ask you this. So give us a, before you, before you go, give us a brief instruction how it will work. I got my phone. You got your phone. You're going to open up your Play Store. You mm -hmm. can search for Black Business Initiative, gotcha. which is the parent company. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to open up your web browser, just search for tapdeals.net. Tap take you to the home website. You'll see a button there. Hit the button that says download now, and the app is yours. It's okay. a free app? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's even better. That's even better. Well, wonderful. <laughs> Man, this is, this is interesting. I, I know a lot of uh, persons that are doing stuff like this. Mm -hmm. You're the first African-American that brought it to my attention that you're doing it. Right, right, right. Now, how, how old is your business? Uh, we're two years old. Two years old, so you, you're working it, mm -hmm. yeah. making it work. Well, before we let you go, please tell our viewing audience how they can get in touch with you about this TAP app and how good it is. And you you, you, you heard it first here on the Stan Watson Show. <laughs> like you said, you heard it first here on Stan Watson. <laughs> okay. Visit tapdeals.net, T-A-P-D-E-A-L-S.net. You can also follow me on Instagram, uh, follow me on Facebook, Isaiah Thompson, uh, Twitter at Tap Deals app. You can also on Instagram at Tap Deals ATL. I mean, how you remember all that stuff? I know, I know. Uh, the social media. I was trying to write <laughs> half of it down. That. You got you got to app business, to remember. Man. Now, what's your hometown? Uh, I can say Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain. Okay, all right. Okay. Now we're offline. He told me. Right. He said New York. I was going to see what he was going to say. My so he's Stone Mountain now. My family was born in New York. Yeah, right. Yeah. I was born in New York. I was raised by New Yorkers here in, in Snowmount. Okay, good. And I'm, good. I'm proud to say I'm a reader and writer. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. Well, Isaiah, thank you so much. It's very interesting. I'm going to go look at that. Thank you, guys. And I make really sure that uh, my people in the office uh, put that out. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you for coming by. Samantha no and I had a great time talking to you. I, I learned something tonight. <laughs> you know, I, always a good guy. Yeah. Got to work. There. Well, let's take another break. We have another great guest, and we're going to interview him as well. And then I heard that he can sing. But you know how people tell us they can sing. They always say. I know, I know. We're going to see. Well, let's interview him first and see right, where he's from. Out. He might be from Oklahoma. <laughs> so, oh, I'm just kidding. We don't low, know. Low blows. Yeah. You're watching Stan Watch Show. Samantha and I are going to take a break, and we promise you we'll be right back.
our children want to know everything about the world around them. And yet sometimes what they discover makes them feel vulnerable and insecure. In times like these, they need the comfort of an adult, the honesty of parents, and playtime to help them deal with their feelings and fears. Time that will literally heal their hearts. The gift of imagination allows children to see a better world. Playtime allows them a chance to practice creating it. Don't underestimate the power of play. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. We're the stronger than we look type. The braver than you think type. The type that's sure the time will come when we put type one behind us. We're the progress is inevitable type. rise to every challenge type. The type that knows bit by bit, the future is certain to get better. We're the plan for a cure type. The improve life along the way type. The type that will stop at nothing. Absolutely nothing. Until type one becomes type none. who caught us on drinking said, try Al-Anon family groups. Are you troubled by someone else's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Al-Anon family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or go to alanon.com.
and welcome back to the set of the Stan Watson Show. And we're so excited because we're getting ready for our music set. But yes. we want to know about this amazing musician who is sitting on the stage with us on tonight. It's Jaber Stubbs, and he is a national singer-songwriter, recording artist. Did you say national? National. Okay, all right. National. Just make sure. Okay, okay. I got oh, it. We do here. National. Uh, national. I just want to know <laughs> that we have national artists on the Stan we Watson Show. We're big here on the Stan all Watson right. Show. So welcome, Jaber. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thank awesome. you for coming tonight. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Well, so tell us about, you know, what it is that you're doing with your music. Got some new stuff coming out or um, working on some stuff? Okay, well, actually, I released my first single entitled All of Me um, mm. last year, May 6th. Um, so singing is kind of like part of who I am. So in, it, like, in addition to my music, is I'm a preacher as well. No, so I really? have like the, the, you know, both things going on. Wow. And so uh, music is it's part of my passion. And um, awesome. it's one of the ways that I love to minister to people through music. And um, like I said, my After you preach them, then you can sing to them, right? Or, or it, before. Or before, that's it, right. It, it, they actually, they work they, you know, together. Very, it's very, work very well together. So um, I've kind of learned, had to learn how to, you know, balance the two. And, yes. um, but I, I, I enjoy writing music and I'm a pastor's kid. So I kind of okay. grew up in the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I knew, you know, just, you know, it's like one of those things, you know, you think you're going to run or you're going to do what you call right. it. Yes, so, yes. And I know that part of my calling is the music. Yeah. And so I, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's a part of me. So, awesome. Man, that, that sounds great, doesn't wow, it? Because perfect. I'm a PK. I've been running, but I say I stay a deacon, okay? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can still stay. PK kids, you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I figured. PKs. Yeah, if I can oh, stay right. a deacon, I'm fine. You know, the other stuff, you know, I'm like, <laughs> right. you know, I'm going to leave that to you. Now, where's your church? Um, I actually attend, I actually just moved here to Atlanta. Okay. Where are you from? Um, I'm originally from Jersey. Okay. Okay, that's and okay. then we moved to my family. We moved to North Carolina, okay. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Okay, and they have their church there. So I, um, I attend Anointed Word Ministries here. In okay, and who's the pastor over there? Uh, O.C. Reeves. O.C. Reeves. Reeves. Okay, well, awesome. Right? As awesome. my pastor would say, go to church somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Now you mentioned Samantha that you also write. You say, tell us about your writing. How long have you been writing songs? Um, I've been writing maybe about mm, maybe four or five years uh -huh. now. Okay. Um, usually all of my music. It usually starts with standing in front of a church, like the song I'm going to sing tonight. Okay. Um, it started, you know, with me standing in front of the church doing praise and worship, mm -hmm. and um, I just started hearing the words. Mm -hmm. And so I actually had forgot about the song. But when we, when we went into the studio one night, it was like three o'clock in the morning, and it came back to me. I said, "We got to, we got to do this." So it kind of like all just came right together. <laughs> oh, that okay. is awesome. It is. That's it awesome. is. I mean, and for you to be able to kind of move in that that spirit realm where you're right. open Absolutely. to saying, okay, whatever, God, whatever you deliver to me, right. I'm going to put it to pen and paper Absolutely. and do it now. You hear what he and said? you got to move on that obedience Absolutely. or else yeah. you, it'll leave you. Absolutely. You already yeah. said, he said it was 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 in the morning? That's obedience. Yeah, it is. It's better than <laughs> any sacrifice. Yes. So uh, you've been singing here in the Atlanta area. Yes. Uh, if you came from Fayetteville. What's been your inspiration when you to come to Atlanta? What have you seen in the music industry in um, the... It's like Religious the, industry, I guess. I guess um, I'm, you know, my focus at one point, I really wanted to like, you know, major gospel artist, whatever. But now my focus is if it happens, it happens. If not, mm -hmm. I'm cool. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm, uh, what I've re really originally came here to do was to pastor. Mm -hmm. So okay. um, eventually I'll be opening a church here and, oh. you know, of that nature. So that's that's my purpose of being here. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so good. And it's so di direct. You know, we've had a number of guests mm -hmm. here that talked about serving, mm -hmm. serving others. Mm -hmm. Ministry. Um, and having that kind of passion to do Absolutely. that thing. And then understanding your, your love for music. Music yes. and kind of blending that in there Absolutely. as well. That's cool. That sounds good. Uh, if someone wanted to get in touch with you, because I'm sure you're going to sling the walls off in, yeah. here in a few minutes, give them a contact number, a Facebook number, or a page. Or okay, well, you can contact me. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the same. Javer Stubbs Jr. That's J A B as in Victor E R. Javer. S T U B B S J R. Are all the same, and so you want to contact. Um, all my information is there on on all my websites. Excellent. Contact, email, phone number, you name it, all right there. Wow, all and right. you're a junior, so yes. you're, you're PK. Yes. And your father is also a preacher. Yes, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. I that put it all together. Goes a long way. That long way. <laughs> now, what's the song you'll be doing for us when we come back? I'm going to be doing uh, my single entitled "All of Me." All of Me. Well, we can't wait. We're gonna take a quick break. I promise you. If you stay right there, Samantha and I will be back, and Javer's gonna sing. All of me? Yes, sir. All right, I can't wait. Stay right there. You're watching Stan Watson Show.
same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. DeKalb County has a new smart way to help keep you safe. Seconds count when a child goes missing, there's a fire, you experience a medical emergency or have an accident, and seconds save lives. Smart 911 is a free service that allows citizens to create a safety profile with information they want to share with 911. At a time when seconds count, and you may be panicked or unable to communicate, Smart 911 can help relay important information the second an emergency call is placed. It could be the difference between life and death. When anyone dials from a phone associated with a specific Smart 911 profile, those additional important details are immediately displayed to the 911 call taker. That helps ensure the proper response to the proper location. Give 911 the extra information it needs to better help you and your family in the event of an emergency. Let's keep our community smart about safety. Sign up for Smart 911 today. Log on to www.smart911.com for more information. Greetings, boys and girls. Moms and dads, Captain Jackson with the Cab County Fire Rescue here, and I know you're all excited about the Halloween festivities, especially the candy, the costumes, and the fun. But there are some safety tips I'd like to give you to ensure that you all are prepared for this spooky night. Shall we? Before Halloween night, Choose bright and reflective costumes for greater visibility or consider adding reflective tape to your costume or trick-or-treat bags. Make sure your shoes fit well and your costume is short enough to prevent tripping, entanglement, or contact with flame. Sometimes a mask can limit or block your eyesight. Consider non-toxic and hypoallergenic makeup or a decorative hat as a safe alternative. Provide flashlights with fresh batteries for all children and their escorts. This is also a great time to buy fresh batteries for your home smoke alarms. And finally, before the big night, teach your children their home phone number and how to call 911 if they have an emergency or become lost. Also, review with your children the principles of stop, drop, and roll should their clothes catch on fire. Trick or treat! Daisy! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick-or-treat! Now that you're prepared for the big night, let's talk about what you'll do while trick-or-treating. <laughs> On Halloween night, be sure to trick-or-treat in well-known neighborhoods at homes that have a porch light on. Be sure to travel in groups, walk slowly, and communicate where you're going. Remain on well-lit streets and always use sidewalks. If no sidewalks are available, walk at the farthest edge of the roadway facing traffic. Always walk, never run across the street. Only cross the street as a group in established crosswalks. And don't assume the right of way. Motorists may have trouble seeing trick-or-treaters. Just because one car stops doesn't mean others will. Never accept unwrapped food items or open beverages. No treats should be eaten until they have been thoroughly checked by an adult at home. Notify law enforcement authorities immediately if you find any suspicious items or activity. Hey parents, after a night of fun and after all the sweet treats have been collected, now it's time to talk about some safety tips. Right guys? Yeah! Right. Wait until children are home to sort and check treats. Though tampering is rare, a responsible adult should closely examine all treats and throw away any spoiled, unwrapped, or suspicious items. Try to ration treats for your children for the days following Halloween. Although sharing is encouraged, make sure items that can cause choking, like hard candies can, are given to those of an appropriate age. 
For any parents out there that are uncomfortable trick-or-treating in any neighborhoods, check to see if your local community centers, shopping malls, or houses of worship have any planned festivities for that night. Well, there you have it, folks. These trick-or-treat safety tips were created to keep you and your family safe, and I hope it helps. Have a safe and happy... Ah! <laughs> safe and happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs>
cannot approve the loan until your wife goes back to work. I'm sorry. Housing discrimination isn't always obvious or straightforward, but it is against the law. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, protects your rights to equal opportunity in housing. If you've experienced housing discrimination, HUD can help. They can pursue compensation for your injuries and protect your equal opportunity to housing free of discrimination. We're the stronger than we look type. The braver than you think type. The type that's sure the time will come when we put type one behind us. We're the progress is inevitable type. The rise to every challenge type. The type that knows bit by bit, the future is certain to get better. We're the plan for a cure type. The improve life along the way type. The type that will stop at nothing. Absolutely nothing. Until type one becomes type none. Save the Bears. Sign the petition. Go to helpbears.org. And welcome back to the Stan Watson Show. I am your co-host, Samantha Cardwell, and we have with us here on the set, Jaber Stubbs. Jaber Stubbs. Amazing singing. That was We're great. we going to get him to sing that again. That was great. Uh, but before we do that, we want to share with you a few announcements. Uh, first, we are looking for international flavor. Yes. The International Food and Music Festival is coming to North Lake Mall on Saturday, October the 17th. Great day. Uh, from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. And we are looking for food vendors. We're also looking for musical entertainers from all over the world. So. If you want to participate or you want to sign up, you can reach us at the office. That's Stan Watson's office, 404-371-3681. Yeah, I'm looking for a great time on that day. But this Saturday, October the 3rd, we're having our breast cancer walk. It starts at One Accord Church right there at Flat Shows and Dogwood Farms. And we're going to be walking from there all the way down to House of Hope. Uh, we look for a great number of people to be walking. If you'd like to walk, call my office at 404 404- 371-3681. In addition, we also have a health fair. Oh, wow. And the health fair will be at the church and the North X, and we're looking for a great, great turnout. We have over 42 vendors. In addition, we have some people that will be having a, a job fair. And so we invite you to come out not only to the walk at 8 o'clock, but come to the uh, health fair at 10. And we also have a job fair. That's October the 3rd, October the 3rd, this Saturday. So make sure that you come by and see us. If you need more information, call me at 404-371-3681. Well, Mr. Stubbs, national recording artist, you, you surprised me. You can't <laughs> sing. He showed out tonight. Yes, he kind of showed out <laughs> tonight. So we'll ask that you... Uh, Take us out tonight. You mind doing that? I don't mind. Okay, well, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Samantha and I'll see you next week. for my attention in a world that fights to pull me through I give it over I give it over take all of me
affections in a world that fights for my attention in a world that fights to pull me from you I give it over I give it over You can have my heart, take all of me.